what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking johnson before here bring you guys kills on shadowfall sniping gameplay and um, i just want to say this real quick guys it's been a while since i last brought here a uh, fps game and uh, i think the last one was uh, battlefield 4 i'm not pretty sure but uh but yeah you know kill zone is a pretty much of a chill game it's not much of a competitive game it's just like for you to chill out like when you're downloading something on a computer or when you're like uh, bored and you have nothing to do like literally this will be the last option you have um, Killzone you know overall it's a, a right game you know it shows the power of the engine of the PS4 and uh, yes it's only on the PS4 by the way Killzone and um, you know Killzone has like a lot of potential it's just that it doesn't have a lot of customization options like for example if you were to go to each class it only has like two snipers, two SMGs, two shotguns, two assault rifles, and that's it. You know, it has two of everything. And also, you cannot add like extended barrel or extended mags or anything. It's just the hollow side and uh, the laser side and or no side at all. Those are your customization options. So pretty much, you know, it's stale on the customization options, but overall, you know, the game performs pretty well. Um, the running and movement of this game is pretty much slow. It reminds me a lot of Modern Warfare 3 because, you know, guys, in Modern Warfare 3, uh, you pretty much didn't have lightweight or, um, you know, anything that allows you to move quicker. The only way you can move quicker is if you had, like, an SMG and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, you know, you pretty much move so slow that sometimes it pisses me off. But I'm like, all right, you got to have patience because this is probably going to be, like, one of the techniques that you need to learn before going back into Call of Duty, you know, which is patience. It pretty much teaches me something else, you know, besides just rushing my ass out there so um, but anyways you know this gameplay is mostly about sniping and me turning into an invisible person and that's another thing guys uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this before in a game I think you have guys because of uh, Titanfall but uh, in kills you can actually turn invisible and you can only run around with a knife which is pretty cool at least we can get behind enemy lines and uh, they don't get all stingy you know uh, we all campy and stuff at least we can get behind enemy lines by turning invisible and it's not like OP like in uh, Titanfall, you know, in Titanfall it lasts like a while and people can't even see you and you can actually shoot your gun. So, um, so yeah, it's not as OP in, as in uh, Titanfall. Um, pretty much Killzone, you know, I rate it at an 8.0. Pretty much an average game uh, for you to just play in that whenever you want. It's not like a hardcore, you know, uh, game you can play on the PS4. It's just for you to chill out. That's pretty much what I'm just going to label this game as. Um, and also a little bit about more about uh, the gameplay guys I pretty much got impressive sniping shots like you won't believe it sometimes because it sometimes it looks like it's quick scoping but it's not because you know you can you can't even shoot without um, aiming the gun sometimes so it's kind of weird it's kind of very slow aiming so um, I don't know I think you guys you can cut it whatever you want but there were some points in this gameplay where I actually got almost a quick scope. So it's pretty much impressive and pretty much interesting because goddamn, you know, Killzone, like with this gun, better than the uh, Call of Duty uh, snipers of Call of Duty Ghost though. Don't don't even go back into like Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2 and compare it to the LA and the uh, MSRs. And no, I'm not saying that. I'm comparing it to, to Call of Duty Ghost, you know, the snipers. So um, anyways, pretty much what I did, guys, just stayed around, stay away from the enemy because uh, they were pretty much not advancing that much. And if, if they were trying to advance, they were pretty much in the open field. That's one thing that people need to learn. Don't get the hell in the open field. I don't know what people were thinking. And that one was a lucky shot. I seriously didn't know if there was something right there. Uh, the guy was invisible, and I literally shot him. Like, I kind of saw a little movement, like a little red, two, dot, two uh, red eyes. You know, that's what, that's what I saw, and uh, that's what happened, you know. Just shot him down. So that's pretty much it, guys. You know, just sniping shots all over the, the, all over the place, and... Uh, it was a hell of a game. I think it was pretty much fun. It's pretty much um I haven't had a lot of fun, you know, sniping since um probably since Modern Warfare three. Modern Warfare three sniping was pretty fun. That one was a real close shot. Um I'm not sure how I made it, but the adrenaline while I'm in the game is pretty much different when compared to when I'm just like calm and messing around. But uh this one I just concentrated my shots and I got like a lot of kills back to back. And um Later on in the game, somebody did challenge me like in a sniping match, but I'm like, how the hell are you going to do that if this is not a Call of Duty? So, yeah. Because I think somebody did notice that I was sniping like the hell out of people. 
And I think that guy was aiming at me. I'm not pretty sure, but the guy was pretty much looking at me. And there was a, there's a guy right there, but the freaking reloading speed of this freaking gun is in like it's pissed me off. Like it's not even that quick. So um, so yeah, I mean, and also the reloading times of every single goddamn weapon on, on this game is pretty darn slow. It pisses me off. But you know, again. We gotta learn patience before we head back to Call of Duty, cause uh, this is kind of a a training for me for the next Call of Duty game, like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, cause I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same thing as that ass game Call of Duty Ghost. So um, we gotta prepare much better than what we did with Call of Duty Ghost, cause I'm not in Call of Duty Ghost. I pretty much headed into some other kind of other di direction, and uh, it didn't come out good at all. So um, see so yeah. Another thing about this gameplay, guys, I ended up going like 28 and 8, or 28 and 7. I'm not, I'm not sure, but you're gonna be able to see that at the end. And I think at this in this point right here, I actually get sniped. It's pretty much challenging because I'm like, all right, it's pretty calm right now. I know somebody already got the uh, the point that I'm actually sniping from far away. So I'm trying to search for this one guy because I I know this this one guy who's always keeps on running into my way, and he, I think he knows where I'm at already. So as you can see, I'm just aiming. And that's where I kind of see some two red dot sights over there. Not red dot sights, um, some red eyes. Um, or I think I already got sniped. I'm not pretty sure. I missed out on the gameplay. I wasn't looking at it. So anyways, there's, some, there's a guy right there. I almost quick scoped his ass. So yeah, that's that's how powerful the sniper is. I mean, it only has one shot per freaking round. Pissing me off, you know, because the, the bear 50 cal pretty much had a lot of, a lot of uh, bullets per mag. And uh, I was allowed to shoot more. So yeah. Because the Bear 50 Cal was the strongest sniper from every single, um, you know, sledgehammer games like Modern Warfare 3 and, and um, I think that's the only game that it came out for. I think Call of Duty 4 also came out for. I'm not sure. See, so, yeah, I'm just literally just like sniping, having fun here. Even though it doesn't look like I'm not doing much, like I'm literally having fun because I haven't sniped in a while. I mean, it's been a while since I uploaded enough an FPS game here in this uh, game, in this channel, and there he was. There he freaking was. I was really freaking aware of that of that happening because I know there was this one guy who knew where I was. That was the guy I was waiting for. So pretty much of a hell of a gameplay, guys, with a sniper. Uh, pretty much we dominated with the team that that I was in. The number one guy who ended up in the leaderboard, guys, in this game. Pretty much, I owned his clan. I played against them like uh, I think yesterday or two days ago, and uh, there was a point in this map named Forest where I actually ended up turning uh invisible and what happened next is that I sneaked behind them that without them knowing that I ended up stabbing all five of his teammates and they were all Seva that's the name of their clan and I pretty much um, didn't record it I don't even know why the hell this thing doesn't record when I press share um, it pisses me off sometimes because I'm like alright share it and it doesn't want to share it. it actually shares the oldest clip of all time like I don't even know why the hell it does that I really need to practice with a sharing button because, I don't know, that thing's kind of weird sometimes. So, yeah, guys, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay because it's a good gameplay. Turning invisible, sniping the hell out of people, and uh, pretty much having a lot of fun, you know, in a while. And this one's interesting. Just watch this. Just watch. It's almost to the end of the gameplay. Just watch this, guys. Knife. And kabam. Oh, for the last kill. Double kill a bunch of points at the end so yeah I ended up getting the last kill and almost quick scope his ass it's cuz when I try to press the R2 like on halfway down the aiming point um it actually doesn't want to shoot so do not think that I'm not trying to quick scope I'm actually trying to but you know it's pretty difficult with kills on you know restrictions on shooting so it's kinda weird so anyways guys I ended up winning the game 28 and there's Gangnam style and freaking Overdone parody song is really pisses me off. I don't even know why they even put it as a show off thingy here in Killzone. So, anyways, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and tell me if you guys want more gameplays of Killzone.